welcome to this new tutorial offered to you by LearnElectronics.org. In this tutorial you will learn how to simulate a simple receiver using the RF design libraries. Search the multisource model in the RF library. Then drag and drop it in the schematic window. Search the RF amplifier model. Then drag and drop it in the schematic window. Draw a wire to connect the signal source with the amplifier. Search the mixer in the RF library. Then drag the model in the schematic window. Connect the amplifier output with the mixer RF port. Search another RF amplifier in the library. Then drag and drop it in your schematic. Connect the mixer IF port with the input of the amplifier. Search the oscillator in the RF library. Then drag and drop it in your schematic. Rotate the symbol by pressing Ctrl plus R. Connect the oscillator to the LO port of the mixer. Search the output port in the RF library. Drag and drop the port model in the schematic window. Connect the IF amplifier to the output port. Double click the multisource to open the model properties window. Add a new signal by clicking the add button. In the new window, check the wideband option. Then set the bandwidth to 25 MHz and the number of points to 11. Set the center frequency to 947.5 MHz and the signal power to minus 102 dBm. Then click OK. Click OK to close the properties window. Double click on the RF amplifier to open the properties window. Edit the model properties and set the gain to 15 decibels and noise figure to 1 decibel. Then click OK. Double click on the mixer to open the properties window. Set the conversion gain to minus 9 decibels. The LO drive level to 13 dBm and the noise figure to 9 decibels. Then click OK. Double click on the oscillator to open the properties window. Set the oscillation frequency to 922.5 MHz and power to 15 dBm. Then click OK. Double click on the IF amplifier to open the properties window. Set the gain to 25 decibels. The noise figure to 2.5 decibels. The output 1 decibel compression point to 16 dBm and the saturation output power to 20 dBm. Then click OK. Go to the workspace tree and click on the designs folder. Add a new RF system simulation to the workspace tree. Give a name to the data set. And set channel to 25 MHz. Click on the paths tab. Then add a new path. Call main path the path from the signal source to the output port. Click OK. Click on Accept to close the simulation parameters window. Thank you for watching. Bookmark www.learnelectronics.org in your browser and check the website periodically for new free material. Don't forget to follow Learn Electronics and the social networks. Please support Learn Electronics with a donation, a Facebook like, a plus one on Google Plus, or a tweet to your friend.